Do you want to know what your strengths are? What you do best? Those things that, if you tap into, will lead you to success? If so, you came to the right place because today we will be discussing Tom Rath and Gallup's Strengths Finder 2.0. As usual, don't forget to visit our website at www.3minutesmarter.com following this video for free bonus content. But enough with the intro, let's become three minutes smarter. Okay, first of all, why are strengths even important? When you have a natural strength, you by nature require less practice to become good at something than someone who lacks these natural abilities. Let's take the example of athletes. I could train and practice for a million hours to become the world's best basketball player. After that practice, I may be competitive, but someone like LeBron James could be equally competitive after only 10 hours of training. And as he continues to train, he will continue to become exponentially better than me. This can be summed up in a simple equation. Talent, your natural ability, times investment, the time spent practicing, equals strength, the ability to provide near perfect performance. This equation suggests that if you want to be the best you can be, you must forget about your weaknesses and focus solely on your strengths. This is why you don't see LeBron James attempting to be the world's best falcon handler, assuming that's an area he's not gifted in. Anyway, this book helps you identify your strengths so that you will know what characteristics make you successful. Okay, cool. So how does it work? In the back of the book, you'll receive a code. This code will be entered into a website and it will allow you to take a quiz. The quiz will then tell you based on your responses what your strengths are. When you know your strengths, you can then learn about them in the book and see how they can be harnessed. So let me give you an example of my results. My number one strength is competition. So what can I do with this information? Or what could you do? with this information. Well, in my case, I can learn ways to harness this strength. For example, put myself in work environments where competition exists, identify strong performers in my line of work and measure myself to them. I could also turn ordinary tasks into competitive games to get more done in a shorter period of time. Now, what could you do if you knew that you worked with someone or managed someone who's competitive. You could use competitive language, make situations win-lose, or you could manage the situations they're in, ensuring that they do not lose too often and become disengaged. These are just a few examples. The book provides many more for all strengths. All right, so to sum this all up, you will not be as effective if you don't know your strengths or the strengths of those around you. If you don't know your strengths, then you need to make the investment and buy this book. If you think you know your strengths, you should still purchase a copy of this book to validate your thoughts. It's too important not to. You may be very surprised at your result. We hope you found the last three minutes beneficial. Please visit our website at www.3minutesmarter.com for free bonus material following this episode. If you want to purchase a copy of this book for your personal collection, click the link in the description for a great deal. And don't forget to subscribe and like for more great content. Thank you for becoming 3 Minutes Smarter.